intent and accuracy to real life. Don't let me be misunderstood. I think that movies like Selma that focus on racial problems that garner critical acclaim and reach wider audiences are very important. But meanwhile, movies that focus on literally anything else are almost always cast with white actors. When the subject of minority heavy media only encompasses these direct racial issues, this too becomes a normalized perception of what this group is, almost entirely reducing them to a one-dimensional image. This is actually a very destructive element in our society because consider that a person, or in particular a child, who cannot differentiate stereotypes from real life will see these on screen and begin to internalize them and begin to apply them to everybody else that they see, therefore perpetuating these stereotypes, negative or otherwise. And everybody in this room has grown up with, or at least currently sees, the portrayal of men and women and any group of people on screen. This is one of the most powerful forces keeping us from abandoning our preconceived notions about any and every group of people. The way in which we produce media in America needs to be changed. And I think that one of the biggest obstacles is simply acknowledging that evenly cast media works. And I think that a really good exemplar of this actually lies within the Broadway community because there are so many wildly successful shows that, are, that have an even male to female ratio in their casting and that even if they have characters that are typically cast as a minority are defined by those minority struggles. And for example, we have shows like Spring Awakening, Pippin, and Rent. Each of these shows successfully created a human experience. Let's extend that experience to everything else that we see. Thank you.